Southern California. From the end zone. Yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone. They'll run on first down. Scruggs. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Second down at seven. He'll look to throw. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. taken down but not before he works it past the 50. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll set up to throw. He'll fire deep downfield from Lamb. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. An early message that this secondary is going to be tested because even though it fell incomplete, it almost felt like a warning shot to get things going. is second and ten. Back to throw here. And that's Elliott complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. get him down about three yards short of the first and on their first drive the offense staying out there they're going to go for it on fourth and now the chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on fourth. He'll look to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And now the rookie's free. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. 
A big play there by the rookie. An interception followed by the return for six points. If you want to be accepted by your teammates and coaching staff, make plays like that. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. He's going to go up top again. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. So, Charles, you talk about this head coach and his future with this franchise. Uh, look, it's been a frustrating year, and I think we saw some of that frustration boil over at his weekly press conference earlier in the week. Yeah, he's trying to say all the right things, isn't he? But he's heard the rumors. He knows what's going on out there. And right now, he is tired of having to answer the question, are you on the hot seat in every meeting with reporters? This week, he kind of said, I've had enough, and I don't blame him. He looks like a guy that may very well be out the door. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now back to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. and the Chargers now with a first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Off play action. Herbert, they'll roll him out right. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Naeem Hines, his first carry. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, they were quite formidable in the win over Philly a week ago. And I'm eager to see the game plan and try to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. And 
I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. And that'll be complete to the running back, Gibson. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. On the stop was Aaron Donald. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Throwing on second and eight. Herbert. This to Hines on the drop off. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. They'll give him four yards there. And just like that, it's third down. now flushed out right and this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown Michael Gallup his sixth touchdown of the season and the Chargers are going to add on to their lead early on they have all facets of the game working in tandem yeah you give the defensive touchdown early to give you the first score and then your offense piggybacks on top of that and gets their own. And any coach we've ever talked to, we've had that conversation with them prior to the game. They always say, you know, if we can score on defense or special teams, that gives us like a 95% chance of winning the game. I don't know if that number's correct, but it certainly does tend to play out that way, doesn't it? It does. Kick this one away, and off it goes. And a fair catch signaled for, and taken successfully. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? <laughs> turnover, you just noted it punt's on the first better. drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn into first downs and hopefully points. On first down, Scruggs. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. You know, if following up on this head coach and the pressure that he is under, CD, I want to switch it to you because you've been on winning teams, but I know you've been in similar situations too where things just are not going well. How do you approach that as a player? It's a tough approach, Brandon, because you actually have to do the opposite of what you would think. You know, in your mind, you're thinking, I redouble my efforts, I go harder. In a sense, you have to back off a little bit. You have to do a little bit less. Do what you're supposed to do, but don't take on the pressures of doing more and trying to do your teammates' jobs as well. If you do that, that's really going to lead you to more issues.
seven, and defensively, it's a dime look. Six DBs to throw is Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Kramer. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. 14 0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Prescott. That one complete, Elliott. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. On play action, Prescott. He'll buy some time right, and he'll just get rid of it. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the... there that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down They'll throw again. Prescott, he's letting it fly for Cooks. And got his man complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. And that is off the left, upright. It's no good. back out there to boom this one away maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. It's a squibber picked up around the 27. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line. Charger drive about to get going. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Herbert has it knocked free. It's picked up by the Cowboys. Taking it right down Broadway. And this is going to be brought back for a final return touchdown by the Cowboys. 
So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. So the Cowboys now bringing the offense out there to go for two. They'll give it to the fullback up the middle. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And solid field position here to start as they get this out to the 40-yard line. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. The Charger drive about to get going. They'll be looking to make amends for the events of a moment ago. A fumble return for six points. You absolutely have to protect the football. That's got to be priority number one because margin for error is starting to slip away. And now it's down to a one-score game. Now Herbert following the turnover. He's got the hookup with Conley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. On first down, Justin Herbert going to take a shot for Gallup. This is caught inside the 15. A big game that time for the Chargers. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Now a give right side. Hines. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. Now it's Herbert. This is caught. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Hines. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Naeem Hines hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. For the Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, 
decisiveness, made up his mind about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes this a nine-point game. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. First down, Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Kramer. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Prescott from the gun. He finds his man complete. That's Elliott. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. This is Elliott. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Prescott to throw it. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 28, and his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh. Fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. A rifle's one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game. And now this time, an interception return for another score. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And this one is caught. So they come up with a two-point conversion, and that makes this a one-point game now. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up over the 40-yard line. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. The Charger drive about to get going. But what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here in the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position after a turnover. I feel like I might have a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you, you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn it into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. 
Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They'll run on first down. It's Hines. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Steps away to his left. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Here's Herbert. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. And that now two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. Ochina Nuosu able to record his fifth sack of the season. Second and 21, a lot of ground to cover. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And a pretty good run, all things considered. Probably would have liked that in the first quarter instead of right now as the clock continues to run. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Stop him short. They get him. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Coach? So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. Taken at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, 
They want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Herbert on first down now. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Cowboys have recovered. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half. And that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security. And none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. First down, Scruggs. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Only needing two yards on second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Scruggs. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Try the jet sweep here. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'll try the left side. Scruggs. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. have taken the lead. Well, with that touchdown pass, I'm going to bring up a point from earlier in the year. Some of the fans were saying, when do we turn to the rookie? Well, he's looking pretty good right now. Yeah, I love the fact that the fans are bringing that up because I'm not the head coach, okay? <laughs> so he's got to deal with it. But I think it's a legitimate question. With the way their season is going, I think now is the time to turn the page and let him get some starts before this season is over. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a short kick taken at about the 16. Turn inside the 20 yard line. And that's the type of return that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the defense now. They've got to go out on the field almost like it's a sudden change, almost like it's a turnover. They've got to go out there and try and stop them. But boy, what a tough spot they're in. They'll run on first down. It's Hines. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line. And Kelvin Joseph that time in on the tackle. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what well, you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. 
Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. I like the thought process. I like the design, but I think he may have waited a little too long to spot his man because if you're going to run that drag route, you've got to put it on him and let him turn up field. Instead, he waits until his receiver's too close to the sideline and they don't get the yards after the catch. Herbert off of play action. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Gerald Everett, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers are going to retake the lead. familiar hands-on-knees pose. His guys will go for two here. They're going to try and run. And he'll get into the end zone to push the lead up to a field goal. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Second and five. Flip one out here to his running back. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that'll bring up a third down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They've got to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. They run the counter. Hines. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Here's Herbert. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball.
from the shotgun. Here's Herbert. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Elliott. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Here's Elliott. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Well, not a lot of flash and dash on that play. Second and two, and they hand it to the big man, and he ends up picking up a first down. A little bit of gray area there, though, but I think what they thought, hey, we hand it to him here. If we come back and don't get it, we still got another down to try and pick it up. him up five first and 15. They'll look to throw here. Dance into his left. Finds a seam inside the 40. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big time situation in the fourth quarter. Picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? Eva, make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went 3 and out. to throw toward the back corner of the end zone but he could not get the feet down this will wind up incomplete quarterbacking 101 never force the ball into double coverage especially not this close to the goal line the windows are so tight you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off another shot from the nine on second and goal Try the left side. Scruggs. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here. Brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. 
What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Pressure right. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. A fourth quarter miss like that, there's no lonelier feeling than that kicker right now. As we all know, a lot of these games, they come down to special teams. And when that chance comes, you have to perform in order to help your team get over the top. Could have tied it. Instead, they remain down three. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. The Chargers on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and eight. Back to throw here, Herbert. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get. Taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Fielded just inside the 20. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Looking to throw. Prescott. And this one incomplete. A 50-50 ball in the end, nearly intercepted. And now it's third down. Scott. Throw 
the left side, it's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now the Chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. shotgun it's Prescott and he wisely will throw that one away we've seen this quite a few times in this game offensive line unable to keep leverage unable to keep people away facing a lot of pressure fortunate fortunate just to get rid of it one of the reasons they're down is that inability though to stop the pressure we saw another example of it there Second and ten. There's Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Scott. He finds his man complete. It's Kramer. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. They will look for some important yardage on third down. From here, it would be a 60-yard boot. He's back to throw. Flush to his right. And he comes back with one complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 17-yard line. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. On the give, this is their fullback. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. The two big plays, one after the other. Now, all of a sudden, they're on the march. Got to feel good about what they've just gotten done and now feel really good about what's in front of them. Now, the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Thank <laughs> you. 
They'll try to run this one in. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. And he'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. situation but to me that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off the score that puts them in front here late but now you got to rally your kick team don't you and say the last thing we need is a big return and what happens is guys get over eager get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle <laughs> you mess up could come back at you a long way so with the miss pat in his rear view mirror he goes back out to kick this one off a short kick taken at the 18. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. Throwing Herbert. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Well, we saw a close game that kept us on the edge of our seats down to that final whistle. And right before that final whistle, defense with one last exclamation mark there getting the sack to end it. I love how you phrased it because... We were waiting to see what would happen. Obviously, we thought something would happen downfield. Instead, it happens in the offensive backfield, and that's your ball game. So for Dallas, the win gets them back to 500 at 6-6 six and six on the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the Detroit Lions. Meanwhile, for the Chargers, the playoffs look to be out of reach now as they drop to 4-8. And, and they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Nashville. <laughs>